Everybody, it's another episode of the DNVR Rapids podcast, and it's a winner's lounge, a uh, baby. <laughs> what a game in San Jose! Rapids win 3 0. Big, big, big old shutout win. A statement from Rafa, a shutout from Stefan. Gold Bassett shows up, the defense holds strong, midfield was everywhere, press was running. We got a lot to talk about tonight, and who better to talk about it with than my guy, Super Producer Dwayne. What's up, man? What a great first uh, show to produce when it's Look a freaking you. winner's lounge. Look at you, Super Producing over there. Love it. Love it. Everybody's loving it. Matthew's I mean, so Matthew's loving it so much he's working out. He's willingly working out. <laughs> <laughs> Not the motto of this podcast. It is unwillingly working out. Um, man, there's so many ways to 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 go with this. So let's just you know let's start at the start. About ten minutes in, Rafa Navarro converts a penalty he draws on uh, Yarbrough in the box. Just a that's how you draw a penalty, man. That that's class right there. That's he can draw a penalty with the best of them um, and buries it. I mean, that dude is just awesome uh, from the spot. He's, he's as good as he gets for the Rapids, at least um, just real nice. And then, um, then it kind of opened up that, that one Oh was a kind of a sketchy one Oh for, for 40 minutes or so. Right. Like uh, just up and down. Uh, Espinosa really worked that right side there for for about twenty straight minutes. <laughs> um, you know, it felt like, and maybe maybe we can kind of go off on this a little bit, Dwayne. But to me, it felt like they had the more scary chances in terms of you know proximity to the to the net or defenders scrambling or whatever it is. But the Rapids felt like they had the dangerous position all night. Like they worked themselves into better positions. Does that make sense? Am I am I onto something there? No, I mean it, this was this was a game. I mean, you and I were talking about it during the game. It, it's especially in the first half. Like everybody looked good. You know, it, it, it was just it, it was so nice to be able to send messages back and forth uh, about good things happening all over the field. So. Uh, it was it was the usual opening, you know, for the Rapids where it was the first 10 minutes, you know, very active in offensive zone, you know, pretty, pretty forceful press there. And then kind of, you know, weaned off a little bit, um, you know, PK helps. Uh, it's okay to wean off a little bit when you're up by one. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I mean, it's exactly like you're saying. Everybody was pushing and and everybody was on the ball you know i think uh juan said it earlier about you know, just the the work rate tonight yeah was that's exactly insane. where i was gonna go there. yeah just everyone insane. everyone was running um tracking back keegan keegan beat a bobacy to a ball on the end line <laughs> to go out for a goal kick and i knew right there i was like this defense is locked in they're absolutely locked in we knew bombi was locked in he's had a great couple weeks um I think Maxu. I think this was this might be the Maxu game. Maybe I'm missing one that's obvious in my head. I know he scored before, but he he was he was all over the place. Now if he can cover range like that, Bombi can cover range like that. Keegan's tracking back. Um, you know, Sam had a rough few minutes there against Espinosa, I would say, but I think that was more positionally speaking than, than actual defense. And it was just. You know, I, I posted the clip from when we talked on Wednesday today, and just talked about. The mentality of this team they they don't stop 
doesn't matter if you're up, if you're down, they're going to keep going forward. They're going to push. They're going to push. They're going to stretch the defense. They're going to create spaces. And uh, everyone was bought in. The ent- and that's why you didn't see a sub until the 85th minute. Everyone was locked into this game. Every single player out there was locked in. Cabral, you know, I, there was a couple moments where I was, I got a little frustrated with him. And then I remembered you're up, you're waiting, everything's going great. Like, relax, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but, but they just pushed, they pushed, they pushed, they pushed. Um, and uh, it was actually, you know, it was Rafa that double the lead, got the brace. Um, I got a, I have so many tabs open right now. I'm trying to find <laughs> too many tabs. Um, Rafa uh, off a long Keegan throw kind of gets bounced around a little bit. Um, he gets one in the 60th minute there. So, you know, you think, okay, maybe he, you know, now you got a two goal lead. It's right at the hour mark. You can, you know, sort of um, just kind of reset, right? Maybe that's the act time. Maybe that's, you know, changing, changing uh, formations. Maybe that's getting more defensive, shelling up. Nope. Nope. Everyone keep doing what you're doing. Keep running forward, <laughs> pressing. Um, and then Cole buries it at the end um, on just a, a, an assist from Rafa. So a brace, and, a brace and an assist from Rafa. Cole with a beautiful goal is third of the year. Um, Good things happen when you shoot the ball. Yeah. And Cole shot the ball. <laughs> That's right. That's right, baby. Um, there were some uh, great, great saves from Stefan late. Um, they had that break up the right side. The only shot was the bottom right corner, but Stefan still beat him to it. Um, he was just all over the place. If the defense wasn't, he was. He was a brick wall. Um, all right, well, I just went through the through the game there, ranting and raving. Dwayne, where are you at right now? Great. What's your big takeaway? I mean, I think there's two big storylines tonight, right? Okay. Um, one's Rafa, and one is Zach Stefan with his first clean sheet. You know, so – uh, whichever one of those you want to jump into, uh, let's first. talk, let's talk, uh, let's go Rafa. Let's go Rafa. We've been let's as hard on him Rafa. as anybody. He's earned yep. it. Yeah. I mean, you know, I was ready to make jokes, uh, after the PK about, uh, you know, Rafa starting a website called, uh, only PKs.com. Uh, and that being his, his, his real, um, you know, cause that's the only way we see him score goals. Uh, and then, uh, thankfully, uh, I never put that out and he shut me up in the second half, uh, with the brace. Um, and it was awesome. It's what I, it's what I needed to see, you know, like, it, does this mean Rafa is going to start scoring a bunch of goals? I don't know. But it sure was wanna, nice to see one that wasn't a PK. God, do you want to was... hear a statement that's factually true but ultimately completely ridiculous? <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Rafa's on the same pace as uh, as Diego from 2022 right now. Well, I mean, he keeps getting those PKs. Uh, I don't know what his PK average is. I mean, we're what, eight games in? Eight games in, he has four three? goals. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I mean, that's half a goal game. That's what look, you're paying a DP attacker, you know, that's you want you want minimum half a goal a game, right? Like that's kind of you know, 16 goals means you're assisting. And what do you know? Tonight he had a lovely assist to Cole to set up an easy, easy shot for him. Um he's on a roll, you know, and and you know, I know people were worried about how he was only scoring from the spot. Fair. We talked about it on this show a lot of times. Um, but sometimes it takes those free ones to 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 just widen that net, you know, make the net look bigger if you're out there, right? Like sure. invite goals into your life by converting the ones you need to. Um, you know, and it was just it was nice to see, you know, it really was. Um you got Dallas at home next, right? Like not terrified of that defense. Right. Like, I mean, he's, he works as hard as anyone to get himself into position. You know, you just, you hope that he, uh, you hope that he continues it. And, and, you know, I'm sure we'll have a whole segment on it on Wednesday, but, um, great game. Great game. It really was. I mean, it was just, 
definitely his nice to watch and not be irritated. <laughs> you know, I mean, I was still a little irritated, but we get into that <laughs> well, later. We'll get into I that mean, later. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we can talk about the, the shooting thing. <laughs> yeah, um, but I mean, gosh, going up by three was just the best feeling. It was like, even though we were up at two, you know, they always say in soccer, like two yeah. is the worst, the That's worst true. lead you can hold. Um, <clears throat> and so I wasn't fully relaxed. Uh, and then Cole comes in, shoots one from just outside the box and buries it. And I'm just like, rapid man, bless this guy. Uh, <laughs> for one taking a shot. <laughs> and and two taking you know putting it on the net so um shots on target we're not high tonight so uh, no. to, to see bassett come in and just be the homegrown hero that we need him to be um the dude's clutch like he, we said it on the you know i think it said i think it was this week that i said i mean that's bassett he's clutch um and he was once again and uh it was just cool to watch the last few minutes and not give a crap and not really have to pay attention all that much because we were up by three. Ah, oh, man, it was so good. Look, the, uh, it was great to see, you know, uh, you know, as Juan has said, both, both in the chat here and over in, um, on his Twitter account, they're really efficient, right? Like this is the, you know, they outperformed X, you know, they were at two and change, you know, almost three, but they put up three, right? So they're on the other side of their XG. If you're not going to be a volume team, you got to capitalize, and they did. Um, you know, I thought all I thought everyone was going to go ninety. I was kind of surprised at, at, at the um, at the subs there, um, but they basically just took the entire top off the team, right? Replaced that. It's time to press. Ten more minutes. Lamine comes in. Um, Wayne Frederick gets his first um, gets his first minutes. Granted, it was about three of them, um, but man. Uh, cool to see that you can just be like, all right, this one's over. Go ahead, Wayne, get some minutes. You know, <laughs> feel what it's like. Go ahead. Yeah, it um, definitely felt like a well. Victory we're cigar. This win, so everybody yeah. gets a few minutes. <laughs> Him and Jackson Travis are definitely the human victory cigars on on this club, and it was nice to see. Right? Um, <laughs> it's hey, it's true. You love to see it. Um, and you're right. Let's talk Zach Steffen, man. We love Zach Steffen. This is a pro Steffen podcast. We had the emergency show where we went crazy about it, right? And then we had to do a second emergency show for Georgie right after that. Uh, uh, but man, he, um, man, let's, uh, I mean, just spoiler alert, there's gonna be a lot of flowers for Zach Steffen later. Um, he, he was so good, man. He just complete control. The right play at the right time, direct in traffic. You know, San Jose was in the box a lot tonight, right? Yeah. They had, I don't know, I'm, you know, I haven't totally dug into the, to the, uh, Fop Mom numbers yet, but touches in the box was scary, right? I mean, I, I, bet, I bet you that's a lot higher than, than Armis wanted, than the staff wanted, than the players wanted. Um, even though the defense came through, even though Stefan came through, they had their dangerous chances and, um, you know, definitely his best game so far. A couple of highlight saves to add to the reel, too. He has had a ton going back to that Nashville save. Um, man, what'd you so what do you think about him tonight, Dwayne? I mean, God, is there a better breakout game for Zach Steffen than tonight? Not that it was really a breakout game. He's been pretty solid. Mm -hmm. But <clears throat> going into a match on the road at San Jose against one of the teams with the highest rate of shots in the league. Um, you know, and, and our defense can be either good or really not so good. Um, and so to me, like this was a game where I was a little worried on how many shots we're going to be taking. Um, and just law of averages, you know, uh, mm -hmm. it's just <laughs> to me, I was worried heading into halftime just about law of averages because I'm just like, gosh, they're they're putting on so many shots already. 
um, not a ton on target, but just shots are shots, you know, and you, you get a bad bounce and somebody picks up the trash and throws it in. Um, and now you're tied up at one, you know, um, and Stefan was just all over the place. He really you know, was. there was. there were a lot of shots that were off target, but the ones that were, you know, even if it could have gone into the crossbar, like he he, he got a hand on it, you know, and made sure mm -hmm. that there was no doubt. Like nothing was left to chance tonight with Zach Steffen. And like that's the goalkeeper that I need, you know, on my team is a guy who's not going to look at it and say, oh, this is going high. It's probably over but to just get up and put a hand on it anyway and remove all doubt. Like that's the game that Zach Steffen had tonight. And, um, you know, and he got a clean sheet for it. You know, the defense was, was good tonight too. Like we bailed him out on several times. Oh yeah. Um, but that's because he's, he's commanding it, you know, and he, he's, you see him yelling and he's being that backline field commander of, of getting people in the right spot. And I just thought he had an awesome game all around. Just, as a goalkeeper, but as a as a team leader, yeah, um, and as a guy who's just smart about soccer, um, so um, yeah, I just man, it just lights out game for him, man, hundred percent. Yo, oh yeah, um, shout out to the guys in the Toyota chat. We got uh, Matthew here. That's exactly what I was gonna say to pull up there. Good job. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm on it. He says so many smiles from the guys tonight. Great to see um, Matthew Wick. Always in the chat. Shout out. This was a game I was confident we would win all week, and I cannot remember the last time I felt that way in a match week. Man, when I was there on Thursday, so tr t training Tuesday wasn't crazy. Apparently Wednesday, which I missed, but Wednesday was like two-plus hours hard training, super intense. Thursday, they played like soccer volleyball tournament three on three the whole team and coaching staff and everybody and technical staff um and the vibes were through the roof music was blasting guys were having fun laughing hanging out um the vibes were as good as i've ever seen ever seen literally like i mean not a surprise but last year was not the most vibiest practices you've ever seen <laughs> i'm sure everyone will be shocked to hear that um and the year before you know they had their moments right but overall it was you know, with Jack out and, and injuries and all this stuff, it would just, they weren't in the place they are now. This team likes each other, right? They like their coach. They like the system they're playing. Um, they're, you know, good players are thriving. Young players are stepping up. Um, it's, uh, it's, the Rapids are in a really good spot. I mean, they're currently sitting fifth, but I don't really care about where they're in the standings. They're playing good ball. Right. And they've survived a pretty tough schedule to get to this point and to cap it, you know, I would say this is their first real easy game, like truly, right? Um, you know, Houston without their guys maybe, but, you know, they they trained their ass off, then they had some a vibe sesh, and then they smoked them. And that's what you should do when you're a good team. They smoked them. Um, and it was uh, – yeah, you know what? That's kind of where my point is going, Jim. Thank you. You kind of just made me realize where I was going with that as I was talking, sometimes you don't really know where you're going when you start stuff on the podcast like this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. He's, he's built a culture, man. I'm in, I'm in on Armis. I really am. I kudos to him. I was in on him as the person, the, you know, the day he sat down with us in the show and, and then talked with us after down in the DNVR bar, but he's, he's created a real culture. There's a culture around this team and there's an identity and there's work, work rate. They are trying so hard all the time and they've bought in and I don't, you know, I, it sounds like I'm just kind of just ranting about it, but it's so nice to see, man. It is, it's, uh, you know, we get pretty mad at Porik sometimes for, for moves he makes and guys he brings in or doesn't. And, um, they, they got something going right now. They really do. I don't know. What's your response to that? I kind of just rambled. <laughs> no, I mean, <clears throat> I, it, since the signing, I mean, I, 
I was in a place with the Rapids. <laughs> you were where when, the, when when Armis was signed, I was just like, let's just give the dude a chance. Like, what what have we got to lose at this point? Mm-hmm. And so, you know, I, I've I've been okay with Armis since the signing. Um, you know, I, obviously aware like everybody else of the resume coming in not being stellar. Um, but was ready just to give anybody a chance at that point. Um, once we talked to him, like you said, it, it's just seeing him being a obvious culture guy, um, how he talks about the players, um, how he talks about the importance of the fans, the fact that he wears a C38 scarf on cold weather games. Uh, when a scarf is needed, he uses a C38 scarf. Um, culturally, like Armis is the guy, a hundred percent. Um, I <clears throat> wanted said something, you know, about it, not quite cooking yet. Um, and this is where, you know, I agree with Juan on this is that the, t- the attack is still a little bit static, um, but it's coming together, you know, and my, my one thing with the attack and, and we talked, we hinted to this earlier, um, is that especially in the early season, um, the videos were coming out, Elevate and, and all of these things with the Rapids. Everything you hear Armis in training, talking to the players, the word he uses more than any other word is react. React, 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 react. I feel like when we are in the final third, and especially when we get to the box on offense, we do not react anymore (laughs) like tonight there were a little too many like cutesy passes for me that could have been shots um i i don't know what that is if that's just where the guys are comfortable that they're trying to like remove all doubt by getting like this excellent pass in um but i sure wish there were more shots you know yeah Um, like a cole bassett you know it's like he could have done another – everybody. Cabral was at that spot that, that Cole was in several times. Um, Georgie, like everybody, Rafa. And it was just a lot of cutesy passes that were happening. You know, some cool back heels. Uh, they looked real cool, um, but they did not <laughs> turn into goals at all. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, part of me wants to see, like, that react actually happen and just get there and just kick the ball, man. And – that's maybe I think maybe that's how we unlock Rafa, you know, like I see Rafa as a poacher. Right. And if we take shots and there are rebounds, then Rafa can be the garbage man that I want to love, you know, like you can just pick up the garbage and put it in the net. And like, dude, I don't care. It doesn't have to be a pretty goal to me as long as it's in the net. Like I'm thrilled. Right. So, and they um, got three of those tonight. So, you know, I don't want to yeah. spend too much time complaining about the attack because, yeah, they I'm, won I'm three just nothing, saying, so. like, as we're talking about, <laughs> totally, right, we're, we're talking about Armis and, like, absolutely, it, it's not perfect, you know, but that that's where I think we continue to develop. I think that's where Armis continues to develop this team. Everything else is structurally sound. Yes. Certainly, it that's was what it tonight. is. The, the, the base is there. Yeah, he's built it. So I think um, that's the next progression is is working on figuring out this last, you know, this this final third. Uh let's get into our game grades here in a second. First, gotta talk about the homies at Toyota, baby. Uh, God, you know, I don't, I don't love always doing ad reads, but I love doing the Toyota ad reads because I'm a Toyota guy. I drove two different Toyotas today, drove my wife's car, and drove my car. Um, we don't have a Toyota truck, but trucks have always been a part of Toyota's DNA. For generations, Toyota has built durable legends destined for greatness and perfect for Colorado. Whether you're conquering off-road trails or hauling the weight of the world, there's a Toyota truck that is just right for you, like the all-new 2024 Tacoma and the return of the iconic 2024 Land Cruiser coming this spring. Toyota offers 17 models with available all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive like the Epic 4Runner. Toyota also currently offers more low and zero emission vehicles combined than any other automaker to give customers numerous choices to reduce their carbon footprint. They have 16 different hybrid vehicles to choose from, including the Tundra iForce Max Hybrid Truck. 
That's best of both worlds right there, baby. I like that. Uh, Toyota SUVs take command on the road and on the trail, so you can explore the road less traveled without sacrificing smooth city rides and SUVs like RAV4 and the Grand Highlander. Visit your front range Toyota stores at a location near you. Auto Nation Toyota Arapaho and Centennial, Corwin Toyota in Boulder, Groove Toyota in Littleton, Mountain States Toyota in Denver, Stevenson Toyota East in Aurora, and Stevenson Toyota West in Lakewood. Toyota is a proud partner of the Colorado Rapids and the official vehicle of DNVR. Shout out to our homies at Toyota. Um, okay, so we've been doing this segment for like year year and change, right? Where we pull up game grades and talk about who had the best game. Yeah. This one's an easy one, obviously. <laughs> who, could, who could it be? Who could it possibly be with two uh, goals? And an assist. Two goals and an, and assist. an assist. A 9.4 game grade for our guy, Rafa. Um, 85 minutes, two goals. Um, 1.08 on XG. Uh, so you like to see him basically double that. Um, let's see. 47 touches, nine in the box. Um, offsides twice. He was 100% on his tackles, um, seven ground duels won, two aerial duels won, drew a foul, obviously that led to the penalty. But what I really like about these game grades here, you look at this lineup. Rafa's in blue because he was the player of the match, obviously. Green, we like green. Green's a good color. All but one rapid finished in the green. Do you know who it is? Who who was the worst of the starting group tonight? I'm going to go Sam Vines. Interesting, but no. Oh, okay. Is an attack. It was Kevin got it right. It is Kevin Cabral, Cabral who I was. You know, <laughs> I almost said I was pulling my hair out. Not true. Don't have any to pull out. <laughs> but, man, there were some moments. There was a couple turnovers where he was the intended pass across the box. And he just doesn't go to it. Just go to it. Work a little. You're the fastest person I've ever seen on a field. Work a little harder, my guy. Like, please, just turn. Everyone around you who's work great is at a 10. I need you to match that. If he ever figures out how to just have that drive, that work rate that you see from the Rafas and the Coles and the Ollies, he would be unstoppable. He would be unfreaking stoppable. And, he's got, and if he learns how to take the shot instead of taking he's the pass just, instead, he's, he, he, he'd have goals. He'd he's have had goals. such a rough career that he just gets so scared of like making a bad play that he just makes a bad play because he's thinking about it too much. Man, I just want to – I love that from one. Put him in – man, because you saw, you saw a few breaks tonight where it wasn't just Rafa off ball sprinting, or sorry, where it was Cabral off ball sprinting. There was a couple where it was Cabral on ball and Rafa was ahead. And the, and same for Harris on the ball with Rafa ahead. Like on sides, but in position to get that. Both crosses got, got sent out for corners. But, man, I just wanted to work just a little harder. And granted, he still had a, 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 a six point. Yeah, it was six and a half, not great. But everyone in the green, uh, everybody, look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful. That's what you want to see so on the road. Um, just just easy work. Cole at an eight. Zach or Cole at an eight point one. Zach at an eight point three. Georgie at a seven seven. Ollie at a seven seven. Um, Vines and Keegan at a seven five. Just everyone was just working tonight, man. It like that's that's and that's a, that's effort. All that green is effort. And it, I'm just so happy. I, all I have wanted was effort for two effing years. It's just to work, please, just work. Because you see it, there is talent on this roster. But man, they would just for two years something would go wrong, and then they just, well, I'm just gonna jog around for 75 minutes because we're already down to nothing, right? Like it was just, man. It's, I'm still I'm in such a good mood from this team. I'm just not worried about this team because I know they're going to at least work for the win no matter what. 
Like no matter if it's like a a tough penalty call that gives them puts them down early or you know a couple goals go in that shouldn't or whatever, you know they're going to keep working to get there. And that's what matters to me, you know. So I'm just I'm in a good mood from them. You know who had the worst game grade? Well, didn't you didn't you just say? I mean in the whole game. <laughs> oh, from uh, Yarby? It was Yarby, correct? It yeah, bad, Yarby bad. had a bad game. <laughs> Let's pull that up here. One conceded penalty, no saves. Not great. Not great from our guy. Not great at all. <laughs> at all. And that's fine when he's not for the Rapids. That's fine. I'm, hey. I'll always have a soft spot for Yarby. You know oh, what I mean? Sure, sure. But I like the situation we're in now. Just a little better. <laughs> hey, Amy, that's so funny. <laughs> Yarbage. <laughs> Good stuff there. Well done. Um, well done. Man, that is so funny. Uh, I just... I mean, you know, I like Lucci, man. You know, Yaya really likes Lucci. I think he's a good coach, but this team is bad. San Jose is bad. Um, oh, yeah, Warner, I'm going to tag you in that game third every single time that Rafa gets two goals. <laughs> like, just believe that. That's. I want to see the <laughs> – join the ball gang, baby. Um, <laughs> no, look, that was a team you should have beat, and you did, and you smoked them, and it was over, you know. Um yeah, Juan, you're right. Sorry to get back to the point that I just bounced around four different points there. Lucci just, you know, I just, I thought he had it. Me and Yaya were pretty high on him. He's just not very good. And the roster's also not very good. You know? Um, that roster's got some big problems in the back. Just go ahead and and send us a Bobasi in the summer window. When yeah. that Rafa loan expires. And let us cook. So let's cook. Please. That's all I'm asking. Is that asking too much? No. I, um, I think that's the perfect ask. I'm down. How do you think Georgie did tonight? I thought he did okay. You know, I mean, he's consistently above average. You know, I mean, obviously, <clears throat> when he's scoring a couple game, goals a game, that's awesome. You know, that's high-level Georgie. But... Mm -hmm. um. Uh, I feel like the, the narrative is still going to be everyone needs to keep getting the ball to Georgie. And I was kind of on a lookout for that more tonight than, than usual mm -hmm. um, because I thought he was going to be the key to the mm -hmm. game. Um, you know, it, it, he did, he did, a, he did fine when he had the ball, um, you know, but it's just, I guess the good thing is that he didn't need to shine at all tonight because everybody else was working so hard. Fair. Like, like, and I think we expect it. Yeah, I think we expect him to kind of carry the team, you mm -hmm. know, and kind of create that offense. But, um, you know, I, I thought he played fine. It, it's just that when everybody else also plays fine, he looks like everybody else you know right, right it's right, not right. to say he's average but it that's what it looks like because everybody's playing at a higher level tonight you know 60 touches is good that's definitely higher than sure, some of these games sure. like I, that might be his highest i don't know if it's the size of the season but it's up there i mean it's definitely in the the upper upper numbers uh for the season um two in the box um Accurate crosses, only three for nine. I, you know, I thought his passing wasn't as great tonight as distribution, but he was good. Um, you know, sure. you just you have a lot of guys that, like you said, there's a lot of dudes on this team that are playing really well right now, right? And tonight and, was hard for anybody to shine, right? You know, right. unless you're scoring goals, you, know, you get a brace, you're Rafa, mm -hmm. you can shine tonight, buddy. <laughs> right, Rafa's turn, yeah. Rafa's turn, Cole's turn. You know, Bombi had a run at it, right? Georgie had a run at it. Uh, you know, it's 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 nice to see so many guys clicking. This is probably I don't know how to word this correctly, but there are the most players on this team playing 
at a high, like playing above expectations at once as I've seen in a few years. Does that make sense? Did I get that out sure. correctly? <laughs> you know, it just feels like there's a lot of guys in the zone at once, right? Instead yeah. of one guy on a heater over here, one guy on a heater over here. It's, it's, there's just, everyone's contributing. And, you know, again, it just comes down to Armis instilling in these guys that we're going to run these other teams into the ground and that's how you're going to win. And you're going to put yourself in winning positions. Um, and when they buy in, um, you just across the board, everyone just looks better and it's great to see. Um, yeah, it's, it's funny over the years, the narrative, at least what we're, we're given from, from the club is that there are no superstars on the Rapids. Right. Right. <clears throat> this is a team of guys. There's no stars. Mm-hmm. But when we really look at the the actual reality of the last couple of years is that it is absolutely relied on a couple of stars, whether it's Rubio with his, you know, record tying season, whether it's Jack Price kind of leading the team and carrying it on his shoulders. Um, it, it just seems like every year has to have some guy who's carrying it on their shoulder, even though the club is saying, no, 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 we don't have that. We're a team of dudes. And tonight I felt like is a team of dudes. Like we didn't, we didn't need someone to throw the team on their back. We had the whole team, you know, what they, as we, as everyone has said, super high work rate. And now we see, what a team of like Juan is saying, you know, collective unit. Now we see what that actually looks like. Mm -hmm. The message from the front office over and over throughout the years that there is no star. Like this is is a a squad, right? Yes. And, and tonight we saw the squad, you know, and we saw a whole team functioning like what we've been told the Rapids are. And so yeah. we're finally fitting into that character, um, which is cool. It looked really good tonight. Dude, Matthew, you got me with the with the Nuggets comps, baby. I love that. Let's go. Tough <laughs> loss last night for them. Gosh. Huge win for the Pios today. I just want to shout out the Pios, dude. DU. Most titles in college hockey history, baby. Yeah, first, first with 10, right? Mm-hmm. First to ten. I was a uh, long. I was I was a bartender down by DU for for several years, and I don't, they didn't win a hockey title while I was there, but they did win a lacrosse title when I was down there, and they went after it, and it was awesome. <laughs> um, so hell yeah, I hope they're celebrated up. Um, good stuff there. Um, we'll get into flowers here in a sec, real quick. Got to pay the bills, baby. We have to talk about our friends at Fubo TV. Uh, Fubo, look, plain and simple. If you like Denver sports and you don't have cable, you should have Fubo. Uh, you get 140 plus live channels of sports shows, movies, news. Um, you can stream live TV from your phone, from your iPad, from your laptop, from your uh, TV, from your smart TV, from everything, and you can watch immediately with a free trial. And if you like the free trial, which I'm sure you will, you get to watch the most Colorado sports for the lowest price possible. There's no contract. There's no cable. There's no hassle. You just sign up and you start watching. You get a thousand hours of DVR included at no extra charge via the cloud. That's cool. How many hours do you think of DVR stuff is in the cloud right now? Like a trillion? A zillion? Eons of hours. That's a long time. It's a long time. <laughs> um, and you get to watch your local teams while you're traveling. An important one, and one that's hard to watch, the Colorado Rockies, who at least have won a couple times so far this year. And you can watch them on Fubo, right? You got all the young kids. Maybe they're building something. You can watch it on Fubo. Um, Masters wraps up tomorrow. You got U.S. Open 10 is coming up. You got Euros. You got um, the NFL Draft. Um, Monday night's the WNBA Draft. You can see Caitlin Clark go number one overall. Um, you got all sorts of fun sports coming up. It's going to be a fun sports summer, and you can do it all with Fubo. Um, watch all your favorite sports, including the Rockies. Go to www.fubotv.com. 
com slash dnvr to sign up for 15 percent off your first month of fubo pro um hell yeah one i'm not far behind you brother um <laughs> uh you know what time it is Dwayne, do you know what time it is super producer i Dwayne. do know what time it is let's see how long it takes Dwayne to say oh look at that it's flowers from the fellas <laughs> Uh, (laughs) um, quick shout out to kevin's comment right there he says hang on i gotta get back to comments here that's okay take your time i'm in no rush baby it's winter's lunch i think Uh, i'm crushing this by the way you're doing a great job crushing this everyone thing snaps for Dwayne in the chat look at him being a producer over here we love it Uh, what can't this man do um I can't score goals either, so it's, I always feel well, like you I can hypocrite. stop goals. I've seen you. that's true. Um, that's true. Uh, Kevin says, "Guys, I think we're a playoff team." And you know what, Kevin? I think you're right. Uh, home playoff game, like Crash the Car says, maybe, maybe. But I think solidly playoff. They're fifth right now on the table. There's a couple of games tomorrow that could affect that. I'm pretty sure, but. Um, Look, they're a playoff team. This is a playoff team. Where in the playoff table? I don't know. I don't know if it really matters because I think the press will travel, right? And I don't think I really care if they're fifth and on the road. I don't because they're going to run whatever team they see into the ground like they do in every game they play. Does that mean they're going to win their playoff game? No, right? Shit happens. But (laughs) – Happens a lot in the playoffs, but the this Raptors. is a different team. This is a different team. <laughs> but I just know that that, that the effort's going to be there. I know that the press is going to be there. I know, like, so let's go, right? Like, know that you're good enough now. Know that you're good enough right now. This game, this game isn't what cemented it, right? It was the um, RSL win. It's the LAFC win, right? It's last week in Miami. Um, you know this team has it, right? So now. Look at the summer window, right? Look at the um, – maybe the end of this one. Like, you know, just keep your eyes up. How can you improve this team? What's missing? What can we add? Um, and see see what works because there's a lot of pieces on the team right now. And, and if you can pick one here, one here, one there, and, and fortify and be ready for a playoff run because it's, it's really – do I really do think it's time to start thinking like that. This is a good team. This is a good soccer team. Crazy. <laughs> Who saw that coming? <laughs> um, we, all, we all picked playoffs. We all sort of saw it coming. You picked playing. I, <clears throat> Yaya was the highest. I yeah, think. maybe I was. No, maybe Yaya. And it's always Yaya. It's always Yaya. In the off season, it's always Yaya. <laughs> Man, shout out to Yaya. I hope he's having fun. Um, <laughs> Me too. He's having a party, um, which we weren't invited to. What the hell? Calling him out Fam- on the show. Family birthday parties, man. <clears throat> yeah. Good for him getting the weekend off. Lit. Um, yeah, yeah, it's probably it's what 11, 11 30. Yeah, yeah, it's deep in the tequila right now. Um, <laughs> good for him. <laughs> Some hot takes. <laughs> if he came on, it would be expletive. <laughs> um, okay. Flowers from the fellas. You already played the, you already showed the, showed the graphic. Let's get into it. Um, Dwayne, you want to go first? I do. Okay. Because this is the flower you never thought you'd hear come from Dwayne. That's right. I kind of wanted to set you up for this one. Go ahead. <laughs> it's Rafa. I mean, wow. how, how is it not Rafa? Wow. Um, he, he, Rafa. Did his, he did his normal thing, which uh-huh. is get a PK and bury it. Um, and, and then he did the thing we've always wanted him to do. Which is right. to score a goal and run of play, and uh, and he did it, and uh, he he locked up the brace, and uh, everyone in the world of the Rapids was cheering. Um, Rapid man's blessings were shining down upon PayPal Field or whatever it's called. Um, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful thing, man. Like I was so excited. Uh, I, I wasn't excited about the PK. I was happy about it, but I wasn't excited because I've seen it, you know, and I want to see him get something other than a PK. And when he did, dude, so excited, quietly excited because 
everyone in my house was in bed already. So it was it was very silent cheering. Uh, but I scared my dog screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I would have woken up everyone if I had celebrated that full volume. Uh, no, it is great. You're right. It is Absolutely. Great. It's great. Great flowers for Rafa. And I'm happy for the dude. Like I, right. I just I hope this is a relief for him, you know, because I'm mm-hmm. I'm sure he feels the same strain that the rest of us do is that we want him to score a goal. Um, so so I just hope he's celebrating, it. man. Oh, yep. And he got a yep. messy jersey last week and he scores two goals tonight. I mean With dude's having a nice, yeah. nice little set of day uh days here. He's he's doing great. Keep it going, <laughs> right? I think here's the thing is is outside of that penalty in Miami, I think he had some great touches and dribbles in the box and and you know, he's he's really creative at getting out of trouble, right? And I think he's going to like just post somebody up and roll the ball into a spacer and he's he, you know, he's just going to find himself in position cuz he's good at that, right? He's creative. He is I just I I just love what I'm seeing from him. And I know Goals is what we need to see, but again, he's at half a goal a game. That puts him on pace with Rubio's record tying season from 2022. Um, so, I mean, how can you be? Can't be upset. I can't. I can't. I just can't be. I can want more, but I can't be mad at what he's doing. Um, okay, Flowers will be going to Andreas Maxu. Because I think this was his best game as a rapid. Um, and when you have, you know, maybe the best young center back prospect who is active, you know, who's playing big minutes in the MLS in Bombay, it's easy to be like, oh, yeah, there's this Maxi guy too, right? But <laughs> tonight he dominated. He was huge in the air. Um, he had that huge block uh, on a. Um, it wasn't Espinosa. Maybe it was Espinosa. But another person was wide open on that right flank in that first half, and he comes flying in and stops a sure goal. Um, I just I'm so impressed with him. He was he was probably so happy to not have that stupid mask on, too. Um, well, I'm not stupid. I think it's cool as shit. I, I think it's so it. cool. <laughs> it's definitely it. awesome, he but he it. hated it. So um, I'm glad it's off. I'm glad he feels fine and comfortable enough to wear it. Um there was this sequence. I just want to touch on on that little like soccer volleyball game tournament they had. It was him and Georgie and Ollie were on a team. Um, they made it to the finals. I left as the finals were going. They were going against Armis and Chris Little and and another coach to win. But there was a sequence in one of the earlier games where it was like seven straight volleys, and their team's play was the exact same every time. Georgie received it. Ollie said it. Maxu headed it like seven times in a row. And I'm just sitting there like, this guy has a broken nose. He has what a broken guys, face. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Why are you letting this happen? And he was just like, chuh, chuh. <laughs> just over and over. Um, but he feels good. And, um, you know, I, uh, I'm i happy for him. You know, especially, you know, he got bought down. He's no longer a DP. doesn't carry the, the heavy weight of DP expectations. But, um you know, he's still a TAM player. You still need to get good production from him. He's, you know, he's an everyday starter and an every minute player, and he, he's looking really good. So, um, flowers to him. Yeah, he had a great game tonight, for yeah. sure. Who you got? I'm going Zach Steffen. I'm going with the obvies up front. Um, hey. First first clean sheet in Burgundy. Um, <clears throat> or blue. You know, blue right. It's tonight, but... Uh, in his heart, it was burgundy. Um, you know, just like I mean, we we talked about it earlier. Just an excellent game as a goalkeeper, excellent game as a leader of that back line. Um, heads up soccer plays, you know, just taking nothing for granted if a ball was probably going to go off the crossbar. He was going to make sure um, that it was definitely going out and deal with the corner later. Um, I just, I don't know what more you can ask for in a goalkeeper than what Zach Steffen gave us tonight. Um, He was, he was as good as, 
as any goalkeeper we would need in any match tonight. Um, so it's obvious flowers to me. Congrats to Zach, you know, first clean sheet. I hope it's the first of many more. Um, but I'm glad he got it, man. Like, again, like I just, I feel like there's a lot of like joy and celebrating you know, on the way back tonight. Like, oh yeah. Just good the things happen tonight. The vibes yeah, are through the just roof. Just good things were happening, um, man. So another good thing that happened. This is one isn't even on the field. This is my next flowers. They're going to our guy, your friend and mine, Emilio Gonzalez, who is the comms wizard over at the Rapids. Um he got off the team flight from Miami last week, went straight to the hospital. They had a baby boy, Lil Santi. Got his first Rapids win. Got his first DNVR Winners Lounge. He was all decked out in his little Rapids gear. It was the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole life. Um, so shout out to our guy. Congratulations. Enjoy the time with the baby and the wife. Yeah, Not congrats, at work. Emilio. And, and you deserve it. Uh, big flowers for our guy. Uh, what a cute kid. Oh, I didn't the cutest. oh my god, I was melting. <laughs> Such a sweet little baby. Um so yeah, flowers to my guy. Um also flowers to Calvin Harris if I have to give it to a player on my turn. So um I thought he was awesome. <laughs> yeah, he was great. Love that guy. Yeah. Uh you have any others you want to give or um you know, I feel like every night it's the unsung hero that gets flowers. For- that we keep giving it to, and and it's. I don't know of a game this season that Ollie doesn't get flowers. Right, <laughs> right. No, for real. He just. I know his numbers are never through the roof, but they're so damn consistent, and he is always there, putting a body uh, into play, um, getting on the ball or getting physical um, when someone needs to respond to physicality. Like, Ollie is just, he is a dog, man. Like, he's just, he's in it all Mm -hmm. the time. Just Mm -hmm. always in the trenches when stuff needs to get dirty. Ollie's your guy, man. Which is funny because he's, at least in the times that we've hung out with him and met him, like, He's a bit of a quiet dude and just super nice. Uh, but man, he can just, he can get dirty. He can get physical. Um, he can get to the ball. Uh, I just, I don't know. Consistency. Every time when something's happening, you need something to happen. Um, Ollie is always there. He just, who knew? I Who knew Ali Laraz was going to show up and be Juan such knew. a Juan knew. Yes. yes. Juan, Juan knew. Juan knew. Um, um, okay. I got, I got one, one, just one. That's all you get. Don't get, don't get a big head here. One Too flower. Many flowers. You get one flower. Wayne Frederick. Welcome to the big leagues. Saw his first action with the team. Um, so there you go. Yeah. Congrats. Number two pick in the, 2024 MLS Super Draft presented by Adidas. Good for him. With me going, who is this kid? There are no oh, photos of I him. I, I need to the make a graphic. <laughs> that will always be my memory of Wayne Frederick. <laughs> you were so pissed. Oh, man. That was so funny. Now, nah, but shout out to him. Jackson Travis getting some minutes too. I like Jackson a lot. I like mm-hmm. really like him as an outside back prospect for this team. Um, He's just fast as hell. He's compact. Um, good with the ball at his feet. I, um, you know, I'm really interested in that. So definitely want to see more Diag too. Um, all right, Dwayne, should we? Uh, anything else we got to get to? Or is it time to cover it and get out of here and go to bed because it's almost I think midnight. It might be. I think it might be. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and start plugging us out of here then. Man, <clears throat> in addition to dropping a like. Before Please, you leave, everywhere, yeah, giving us a, a, a five star rating if you're listening versus watching, all the things that Yaya says, um, help us out. Do yeah. those things. It helps us get more sponsors, which helps us keep the show up and running. Um, in addition to that, we have DNVR 
rapids takeovers happening soon so soon it's at the next home game that's right 420 dnvr colorado rapids 420 hello look will we be imbibing who can say who can say (laughs) who can say i mean i can say for sure (laughs) it's gonna be lit um no, like go to the dnvr.com, click on events, get your tickets. Um, look, basically, what we're trying to do is use the reach we have with this show and, and DNVR socials to show everyone what a good game day experience looks like at the Rapid Stadium with C38, right? Like, we know we're not so big, you know, big in our boots that we think that, like, we're the ones that are going to show this, right? No, the point is, is that we have good friends over at C38. We want to spread the word to Denver sports fans. Um, and so you get a bus from the DNVR bar. You get a pass to the C38 tailgate. You get a ticket with C38. You watch a dub. You have a fun ride back to the bar. And it's going to be fun as hell. It's on 420. Um, it's Dallas. Dwayne hates Dallas. I hate Dallas. Dwayne hates Dallas so if much. you so. want to see him <laughs> on the team... 420 is your match to see me truly loathe a team. And you know where that hate started? I I would get off a little off subject, but it's news from this week. Sure. My DNVR.com slash DNVR, (laughs) the DNVR.com events. You'll find the tickets there. There you go. Okay, go ahead. My hatred for FC Dallas. There's a few things, but it really hit peak. When I saw one of the dirtiest cleats up tackles on one Dylan Cerna, which took him out for the season. Hey, shout out though. And Dylan, I bring it up because Dylan retired. Congrats to him on a great career. Um, You know, just a burgundy through and through guy. Um, And for the back, he helped me grow this hatred for fc dallas um which who knew i always thought it was going to be salt lake which i can't stand them either but uh fc dallas i can't wait to see you lose at home at the dmvr tailgate and our c38 tailgate dmvr takeover it's going to be awesome let's go um you know, we might get a decent crew out from from DNVR, depending on if it's a Nuggets mm-hmm. home playoff, game, you know, Nuggets playoff <laughs> game or not. Um, but we got two more. We got one in uh, July and then one in September. September. I'm pretty sure. So yep. um, they're all Western Conference opponents. It's all a fun game. Um, so so definitely go check that out. Um, Dwayne, you can go ahead and be ready. Here, I'm gonna. I'll, I'll I'll drive us home if you need. Dude, I'm I am on it. You Are just you? do the thing. I got these ones and yeah. twos on lockdown. Ones and fucking twos, DJ Dwayne, <laughs> dude. Let's go. We don't need Yaya anymore. Bye, Yaya. You're relegated. You're no longer needed. You're excess to parts. <laughs> Bye. Um. Look, if you don't follow us on Twitter, how did you even get here? So good job on that. But tell someone else about it. Throw us a retweet. Throw us a like. Throw us a follow. Um. You know what else you can do? Subscribe on YouTube and hit that little like button. That goes a really long way for us. Um, Not only do you get notifications on us, you get Nuggets playoff winners lounges. You get Avs winner lounges in the playoffs coming up. You can watch Susie break down the rocks, right? Broncos draft talk, all sorts of fun stuff over there. So make sure you're doing that. Um, More important than all that, the best freaking way you could end a winner's lounge possible. It's up the pits. Walk, 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 walk. We all city like the mayor. 